Major League Baseball is happening. We have exhibition games going on right now in empty stadiums. It's funny, like Dodger Stadium has you know cardboard cutouts in the stands. That's I like that. Um, the MLB's Instagram page has been great. I've seen a lot of home runs. If you don't follow the MLB on Instagram, you should. It's fun. I am like I'm so excited for baseball. I'm excited for sports. Period. I'm I'm at my wits end. Where I'm like I just I want to watch sports so so badly. And um, this year is going to be really cool for baseball. It's a shorter season. There's only 60 games. And because of that, every single game matters. Every game has playoff implications. You're like a four-game losing streak, which normally doesn't matter, it's a big deal this year. You have a four-game losing streak has playoff implications. That will affect your seeding, affect how you do everything. You know, this year there are no random Tuesday games you can take off and relax. My part of my problem with baseball always has been the games feel meaningless. You can have a bad game on Tuesday and it's like, eh. No, no. I, I like when it matters. When every at bat, every pitch, everything matters. There's a tremendous amount of tension in baseball when everything's important. And that's what this year has more than any other year. And think about it this way. With so few games, the playoff race is going to be insane this year. You know, teams can't pull away. The best teams, normally you see the kind of the better teams pull away at the end of the year. As the year drags on, you're tired. You're out of the playoff, ra- ra- you know, out of the playoff race. You're tired, and you're on a plane every single day playing a baseball game nearly every day, and you're like, I, I don't know the fight today. And the, the best teams pull away. Well, there are only 30 MLB teams, and it feels like we're going to have a a playoff year with 20 teams competing for a playoff spot. It's going to be crazy and fun because of that. I'm so (laughs) excited, man. Um, The season starts on Thursday. Thursday was July 23rd. Um, Now, I am I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, I feel I feel bad because I'm I'm hyping up baseball. I'm going to miss the first couple days of baseball. Um, I'm going to be in the woods camping from July 23rd to the 29th. Um, you know, if baseball happens and if football happens and if the NBA happens, I got to think about it this way, where from August 1st until February, like the middle of February, there's going to be no break from sports. Assuming football happens, we're going to have all three major American sports happening at one time. That's a lot to cover. The NFL, the MLB, uh, baseball, what, baseball, basketball, football, whatever, whatever their names are. Uh, their acronyms in their in NBA, whatever. Um, I, I I just know that that's going to be crazy to cover. So I'm actually taking a week off and going to go hunker down and prepare for this long stretch of. And my plan is to record five days a week uh, when football starts. Now I I feel bad because I'm missing baseball, but not that bad. I'm only going to miss a couple games. But I want to be clear. I am so excited. I cannot wait to watch baseball. I I love baseball. I grew up playing it. And my whole problem with baseball has been there's too many games. It doesn't feel relevant. And then when the playoffs start, I tune in because playoff baseball is incredible. And the result of having a shorter season is that the entire season is basically playoffs because every at-bat, every game, even on a random Tuesday, has playoff implications and matters. And so I, mm, it's going to be a special year of baseball. I truly believe that. I don't think it's going to be like any other year we'll ever have. I think next year they're probably going to go back to the normal format. It might not be as good, but this year especially, baseball will be wonderful.